friends, to another edition of Tiffin Box TV. I'm your host, Seishu, and I've had the pleasure of speaking with Jason Grubb once, once before about Instagram and how he rocks Instagram. And, you know, when I found out he is going to be talking about Pinterest for photographers, especially through Shoot.Edit, it's another webinar he's putting together for them. I said, Jason, you got to come back and talk to me, bud, uh, because I am a Pinterest neophyte. And <laughs> I, I got to be honest with people, I, you know, I, and I feel like, uh, Jason, that I'm speaking the same words I was uh, speaking about Twitter, like about five years ago. I didn't know anything about Twitter, but I just embraced it. And it's really paid dividends. Tell us a little bit about your experience using Pinterest. Well, you bet. Um, well, one of the reasons that you're not heavily involved in, in Pinterest, uh, Seshu, is that you're a male. OK, um, and so am I. Uh, Pinterest is used uh, 80% primarily uh, female users. Ah, okay. uh, so for, for us wedding photographers, portrait photographers, um, tends to be a really great demographic for us. Um, not a lot of men are the lead in searching for wedding photographers or portrait photographers, but women are, and they love Pinterest. Um, you and I know as photographers that a, uh, a picture speaks a thousand words or, or whatever that saying is. Yeah. Um, and, and we're photographers, we're image makers, this is what we do. And Pinterest is an image sharing warehouse um, okay. of ideas and images. I mean, this is, just, this is just perfect for us as photographers. So with that in mind, um, how do, what, what do we do with Pinterest as photographers? Um, how do we use this to, to help s share our brand, share our images and spread a, a much wider net um, for all of the brides and, and clients out there looking to hire us. Sure. Um, so in the same way that we kind of did that with, with Twitter, you know, back in the day, how do we use Twitter to, to share our message, develop conversations, um, and share our images? Um, we started to develop that with Facebook as Facebook became popular. Um, Instagram as well, pure image, you know, social sharing site. Right. Um, Pinterest is, is, very similar along those lines and we're going to use very similar principles as we share images on Pinterest that we would with with Facebook with Instagram um, even Twitter right right uh, so you know each platform has its own sort of nuances its own set of like policies you know its yes. own way of doing things uh, you've spent some time explaining to us in a, in a similar interview about using Instagram. Yep. What is it that differentiates that from Pinterest? And, you know, uh, the question I get most of the time, honestly, Jason, is that my, how, how many platforms should we be on? You know, are we going to be just platformed out? You know? Uh, good question. So, so what do we two, do? Two questions. One, what makes, what makes Pinterest unique um, for us as photographers? And then two, um, how do we manage all of this, really? You know, how many social networks do we need to pay attention to? Right, yeah. And uh, my answer to the second question is, is uh, that I want to pay attention to the social platform that is the most influential for my target market, all right? Um, and I'm finding that Pinterest is starting to overtake uh, my other social networks from a lead generation standpoint. Um, brides are finding us. We're wedding photography specialists. Sure. It's all we do. Yeah. And brides are finding us on Pinterest. Uh, if we look at our analytics and we find out how people are arriving on our website, Pinterest is up there with Google for us. Um, and we are well ranked on Google. We've, we've covered all of the cities that we want to be in, in Colorado. We're number one or, or top three in placement there. And we have a lot of referrals from Google. Pinterest is, is gaining on Google in our analytics. So um, I'm going to pay attention to the social network that's generating the most uh, interest in our business. Sure. Um, so with that said, my uh, investment in Pinterest has uh, increased substantially over the last year. Seeing that trend, really gaining some momentum there. Um, uh, and, and then going back to, you know, how do we, uh, what makes Pinterest unique? For me, Pinterest is unique because um, every image that I pin to, to our Pinterest account or our Pinterest boards, um, Every image is, is, a, is a link directly back to our website, meaning um, I don't have to watermark my images. I don't have to try to protect them. Um, if someone is interested in an image they find on Pinterest and they click it, it takes them to that image on my website. 
And that's something that doesn't happen on Instagram and it doesn't happen on, uh, on, on Facebook. If they see an image, that is, that's on Facebook. But every image in Pinterest is really just a, just a, a, a link to my website. So that's going to generate a lot of traffic and it protects my images. So they're, uh, people, of course, can screen capture and try to download and steal images. I don't care if they do. Yeah. All I care is that brides that are interested in these images, kind of our style and flavor, find their way back to our website. And then we have a really good website that, that draws them to complete our contact form. That's really all we want in life. Awesome. Complete my contact form and I'm a happy man. <laughs> there you go. Uh, you've spoken about, uh, clearly, the uh, as a wedding professional, wedding photography professional uh, how pinterest has you has been used you use pinterest to bring people back to your website what advice would you give to a portrait photographer is um, it similar in a way? yes very similar advice yeah. um a portrait photographer wedding photographer whatever whatever you choose to shoot i believe that you have to have a um you have to have a uh a style that represents re represents you. Um, for example, Seshu, uh, I was flipping through Facebook um, for five minutes before we got on this call. I know your images. I don't even need to see that that it's you that posted that image. I see an image. I know it's you, and of course, I confirm. Oh, yeah, that's a great picture. Um, so I know your images. Thank you. And you're welcome. And if I was browsing Pinterest, if you're a portrait photographer, um, I want to, and I happen upon images. Um, I want your signature style to be represented in the images that you share on Pinterest. Um, one common feedback that we get um, is uh, from our brides. Uh, we see your work everywhere on Pinterest. We know that's you. And that's, that's fantastic. They know our style. They see us a lot on Pinterest. They know it's us. So, so your portrait photographer, wedding photographer, um, newborn, for whatever you do, um, have, a, have a signature style. Have something that, that says who you are in your images mm -hmm. and as people happen upon them on Instagram, I mean on Facebook, <laughs> here we go, <laughs> on Pinterest. Um, Let's get the platform right. <laughs> get the platform, on any platform, that's really what my subconscious is trying to say, on any platform, oh, sure. they are going to find your signature style, but we're talking about Pinterest, mm -hmm. so we want them to, to see your style on Pinterest. Um, one of the best ways that people can get to know you on Pinterest um, regardless of what you do is for photography, is to have a really clear and organized Pinterest page. Right? You set up your page, uh, make it a business page. During the webinar, I'll talk about how to take a Pinterest page and make it a business page for you so it's connected to your business, not just you personally. Um, during the webinar, I'll talk about really organizing that page with a number of boards that are representative of your, your brand, your style, um, and the locations that you shoot, so that you know a uh, a potential client is browsing through Pinterest, they find one of your images, one of your you know just beautiful black and white, solid contrast, great blacks, and uh, they love your image. They go to your Pinterest page and they see, oh wow, okay, so here's here's Seshu's black and white Pinterest board, and boy, those are beautiful images. Look at how he captures those. Oh, I, let me look at this board. Okay, this is outdoor. This is your outdoor board. Mm, wow. Here's your headshots board for your corporate headshots. You know, sure, sure. Um, that's that's key. Having a signature style and then a very organized way for people to understand your style as you set up your board. As yeah, as you set up your page with all of your own boards on there. Gotcha. Wow. So you can you can create a board for your business, but also segment it in, in yes. ways uh, that you're providing people. Um, I guess. A variety of images for them to look at. Yes, and and by having re very clear, categorical, styled boards, um, they can easily navigate. Like, oh, for us, um, we'll have a board for engagement shoots. We'll have a board for um, fan favorites. We actually have a board that pins that just take off and get. We have one pin that has ten thousand repins. Uh, yeah, incredible, right? Ten thousand repins. That that got on ten thousand eyes. That's amazing. And I'm, I'm so embarrassed. Because this picture is, it's okay, it's a good image, but it is a couple holding hands on railroad tracks. And that is as cliche as it gets, right? How, what are we, is this 1982? Um, it's funny, but that one image has just taken off. Um, but it's, it's generated a lot back. Anyway, so uh, we have a fan favorites board. Um, we have um, location boards. For us, location is very big. Absolutely. So we have Aspen, Vail, yeah. Beaver Creek. These are big locations for us. So a bride 
um, just going back to weddings, a bride is, she's having her wedding in Beaver Creek. She happens upon our images, comes to our business page, sees that we have a board that is specifically dedicated to weddings and engagement shoots in Beaver Creek. She's going to get a really good feel for how we handled that location sure. um, at, at various seasons throughout the year. And again, that can translate, of course, to any photography specialism. Okay. Uh, interesting that you mentioned how brides are finding you. Clearly, they have to be on Pinterest first. Yes. Right? It's not something where they can go to Google and find you on Pinterest. Is that true? Correct. Correct. So there is no tie between Google and Pinterest in a way. That not not directly. Um, yeah. Similar to Facebook, um, Pinterest is not as uh, not as tightly controlled as Facebook is. Okay. Um, you can uh, do some searches on Google and happen upon Pinterest boards mm -hmm. that might be a search result. A Pinterest board based on this particular, you know, motivational quotes. If you Google motivational quotes you'll most likely find a number of Pinterest boards in those search results. Um, but I, I haven't found um, really a successful tie-in for, say, someone Googles Colorado wedding photographers. They're not going to find our Pinterest board. Um, so I'm working on that puzzle yeah. when I figure that out. Indeed. And I, believe me, I'm working on that because so, I, want to, I want that to be nice and connected as well. Absolutely. Uh, you know, it becomes a sort of a, what's the word for it? Um, I'm losing in terms in terms of just uh, finding everything so conveniently yes. all in one place and having you having a, a client potentially find you and on different platforms all from one place would be would be a nice oh. a nice option right that'd be fantastic but the reality is um, you ask brides are you on Pinterest of course they are um, I would I would gamble ninety nine percent of brides that are planning their wedding use Pinterest as a tool for planning their wedding. Um, and, and a lot of them are maybe planning boards that, you know, here's their inspiration board for their particular wedding. Um, and in that board, they're going to have the decor that they're looking for. Here's the chairs I want, the flowers that I want. Um, and on that process, they're going to find a style of photography that they kind of like. Maybe it's, maybe it's very vintage, washed out kind of feel. Maybe it's very filmy or very, maybe it's really bold. Um, but regardless, if they're going to, if they're happening, if they're coming across our pictures and they like our pictures, mm -hmm. you know, we love that sun drenched you know, Colorado sky, we love that. And if they love that, they're going to be pinning it to their boards. And soon enough, our, their, uh, their boards are full of our pictures and they just have to hire us anyway. Cool. That's how that works. Uh, my last question to you is this, uh, you know, mobile is big. Mm. Is Pinterest accessible easily through a mobile device? Yes. Okay. Yes. In fact, um, uh, I, I, I don't know the stats, but that would be something that I will have for the webinar, um, the, the um, web use versus mobile use for Pinterest. But I will use my wife in a, as an example. You know, be the, between the hours of 8 and 10 o'clock at night, uh, we will probably during that time eventually happen upon a TV show. We'll, you know, open up Netflix. We're going to watch House of Cards. She's going to give it, the show, 20% of her attention and her iPad, 80% of her attention. <laughs> and she's on Pinterest the entire time oh wow okay yeah okay. and she's for no purpose just she's looking up a recipe or just she's looking up the most random things but she lives on pinterest and the ipad app is a phenomenal experience the iphone app very very decent experience okay okay excellent um jason you're going to be doing a free webinar uh thanks to shoot.edit and that's coming up on may 6th um from 10 a.m to 11 a.m Pacific Standard Time. Correct. Uh, I'll have a link to it in the bottom. Uh, it's wonderful to be able to talk to you uh, about another platform. We talked about Instagram before. Now we're going to we're talking. We just talked about Pinterest and how to use Pinterest. I mean, this is a this is something that I think every photographer should really explore. Because I yep. mean, uh, to, to, honestly, there there's you know wedding photographers and portrait photographers and some people sometimes they do both and i think right. uh, this right. this tool is able to reach more people why not it use is it? why not it's use absolutely it? it's there we have to use it and uh, during the webinar we'll go from from setup and the fundamentals to some awesome. advanced advanced ways to make this thing really work for you it will be wow. fun excellent well i'm looking forward to it myself because i want to learn how to use it and i think it'll be f phenomenal for my business so i appreciate uh, what you're doing for us man thank you so you much for joining us today Thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye.